Hey everyone, it's Max, and welcome to another Land of the Lost tutorial! Today, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be building the automated portal. Now, the automated portal, I take no credit for. First of all, Etho totally makes the automated portal, okay? Uh, the reason I am doing a tutorial for it is because, one, I slightly modified my design in in my Land of the Lost series. Uh, he has his automated starter block here, and I, of course, have mine right there. Okay. And the second thing is, is that uh, when it came to following ethos, though you can, uh, if you watch the YouTube video over and over again, uh, follow his steps to actually making uh, the automated portal. Uh, at the same time, I thought I would do mine in a tutorial step by step, just so as you can see the three sections that are required while the villagers all watch us here, uh, me making the portal. All right. So in this particular case, let's get started. Now, in this particular case, a redstone block is just one of them really cool blocks like grass. Okay, so dirt blocks and grass blocks. The nice part is is that they are two different blocks in the same space, and that's what you've got here. You have two different blocks taking up the same space. You have redstone in its resting state, and then you have redstone in its other state. And we will change game mode uh, to is it one? Oh, no, we don't want one, we want zero. All right, so now if I punch this redstone, that has actually changed the block state. So that's a whole new block, okay? And the neat part about that, of course, is is that we can make things, uh, we can make bud switches and do wonderful things like that. So now I'm going to switch myself back to one. There we go, and let's get us one of these wonderful dispensers. All right, so the first thing we need to do, uh, oh, and we also need a piston. Almost forgot, gotta have the pistons. Uh, let's just put that where that glowstone is. All right, so we need a sticky piston here, like so, and one, two, dig down, and we're gonna put two torches in there, and we're gonna put a block on this, and that's covering up that first torch. Now, these two torches run the entire operation here. Listen, dude, you're really going to get hurt. I'm telling you, it's not going to be pretty. All right, but we're not going to worry about you just yet. You want to stay down there? Fine, stay. See if I care. All right. So, in this particular case, we are now going to run one, two like so and then we are going to take a little bit of redstone oh actually I am one too far here so I'm going to take the redstone up here in like so in like so and then put in my dispenser now I'll probably the easiest way for me to do that is just take that out of there for a second and put that block back in alright now, that is actually step one of three right there, okay? So now in this particular case, every time this block be gets punched, okay, as you can see, okay, uh, this, of course, as soon as you punch that block, this piston is going to get retracted, which allows power through this line, and this is where we're going to set in the charge to light the portal. Now we actually have to build the comp two other components to get this thing to turn off. Okay, to get things to turn off, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put another one of them in, just like so. <laughs> All right. And uh, now we're going to make an L-shaped block here. All right. Uh, one, one, two, three, like so. Now, this block here is just going to get a piece of dust. And these three here are actually going to do something for us. We're going to put a block there. We're going to put a block there. We're going to put a repeater in here and set it to full open. All right. Now, we are going to put a torch on this. Then we're going to put a block on top of that. So I'm going to just put a block there temporarily and then knock that out. Now we're going to put a block on top of this torch. And then put two pieces of redstone coming down. 
And on the front of this thing, we're going to put a torch. Poof, like so. All right. So in this particular case, what you've done is you've basically set up a monostable circuit. So when this side gets activated, all right, this is going to light up. This is going to ma allow this to pulse through really, really fast. And this torch will blink for a brief, brief second. All right. Now for the other half. And I just like to have a little more base on mine. All right. Now this is where we want to put in the blo uh, the dispenser for water. And we're going to need some more blocks. All right. So when you notice here, we've got this uh, this two jetty platform off over here. And then we got this coming in over here like this. Now, this is set to as fast as it will go. This one is set to fast as it will go. This gets one tick, like so. Then a block. All right. Right here, you're going to build an another monostable circuit. So we're going to put a block and set to full. And a block. Now, on the back of this, we're going to put a torch like that. And because I'm really bad at trying to find the edge of these things, but I'll try it. Oh, look at that. I had some success this time. There we go. And we're actually going to put a couple of redstone coming down. And on that there, we will put a torch, which is now burnt out. And the redstone will come around like this and off like that. All right. So in this particular case, the shot is going to come over here. The water will get dispensed. But right afterwards, poof, the water will be undispensed. So now I need to get some water. Water, please. And we're probably pretty safe to get rid of that. Let's put our bucket of water in there. Now, the other thing I got to do is make some charges. Let's handle that. And I never find charges in here. Like, I think you actually have to craft them. You, you cannot get away without crafting them. So, if I got to craft them, uh, first I got to find the stuff I need to craft them. That would be helpful. Uh, nope. That's not it. I always find it's really hard to find the stuff I need. No. There we go. We need some of that. Actually, we need more than that. And I'll just take a few of these now because it's nice and easy. And the third thing, of course, is gunpowder. We'll just take some of that right now. Put it in here. And I now need a bench. Hey, you guys got a, you know, one of them uh, things in town? You got a well. Come on, you haven't got like a blacksmith anywhere in this town? Holy smokes. You got to tell me I got to actually build a bench? All right, fine guys that's pretty cheap you guys you got a church in town all right whatever so be it I will build a bench and uh, I suppose I can't even build a bench until I get to uh, we'll do that now I have to switch my game mode back anyway And, of course, I got the number wrong, because I always do it backwards. All right, there we go. How about that bench? Yeah. We're crafting. All right. And a little of this. Boom. Yeah, whatever. Oh, don't put that, don't throw that away, though. 
We want those. We want those. Okay. Excuse me. Come on. All right. Let's see how well we did. I'm going to punch this. It's going to start. Oh, did, is my timer wrong? Oh, my timer is wrong. It's in reverse. All right. So now I need to show you how to fix that. All right. So when the block is not glowing, the piston actually has to be out here in the starting position. So right now it's actually in the wrong way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait for this block to die off. Well, not die off, but stop glowing because it will stop. And I'm actually going to take my charges back out of here. Um, when this block stops glowing, I'll bring it right back. That way we can see how to change the block. Okay. To change this status, the easiest way is to use a repeater. And the reason is, is because when I put the repeater down, it will act as a block update. But changing the repeater without removing it also acts as a block update. So I put the repeater down first, and the block is in the wrong, uh, is now in the wrong position. Right. So what we want to do now is if I wanted to, I can right click on this and you now notice that it's in the right position. If I remove it, it would go back to the wrong position because that would be a, a block update. So you actually want to set this up to where the block is wrong, then punch it. And now the block is right. Now let's load the charge. Great thing about repeaters is that they work for great bud fixing. All right. Now, in this particular case, I punch the block. Boom! Running. Oh, yeah. Check that out. That's just beautiful, isn't it? Sure it is. Now, what's going to happen is, of course, as soon as that block goes out, poof! Just like that, the water quickly comes out, drenches it, and turns it back off. And that is a fully working automated portal. Now, in this particular case, of course, like I said, it's three parts. Part one is the piston and the two torches dug into the ground one block. In fact, this is the only digging into the ground one block you do. The rest of it's actually... Uh, up one level for mine anyway and in this particular case it's two repeaters and then up and around into your dispenser boom and that actually is the lighting part this all takes care of turning it back off kinda of funny huh takes a little litty bitty thing to start it and a great big monstrosity thing to turn it off uh, to turn it off of course starting from here uh, you have a repeater a block and then three blocks for a base and then a monostable circuits, which is two blocks and a full repeater set to four. A torch on the left. We have dust on the right with a block in the center. And then a block above the torch, dusted down with a torch on the front burnt out. Then over here, I basically have three rows of four. The first row is a couple of dust with a repeater, minimal and of course the bucket with our dispenser the second row is two repeaters the second one gets a one tick all right the other one is just left alone with a block and then in the third row it's actually another monostable circuit facing this way okay so of course we have the two blocks full repeater set to four we have the torch and of course two blocks in front and on top of that with the dust coming down and a torch in front of that and that is our fully automated start stop portal now one thing I do want to note here is you can't use this injunction with my other tutorial of putting in closed portal doors right because this all works on block update so I am within range for this block to update now if I were to actually build like a second portal only a, a hundred and some blocks away and had these two portals working this block could update because I'm too close to it 
the problem there is, is that if this portal turns off and you're in the nether and you try to use the portal in the nether to come back up here, you're going to get a second ugly portal forming because this portal isn't turned on. All right? And that's going to make just a big mess. So automated portals do not equal close portals. All right? Uh, your portal has to be at least, well, I would say minimum of 144, but I would say 288 as a protector because you gotta, you gotta make sure that it does not see you at any point in time. You gotta get out of the range of this, of this block. So we'll start this up, and the reason this works, of course, is is that when you're in the Nether, these chunks are unloaded. They're not, they're not loaded now, right? So. I can do whatever I want down here. I can have a ball. I can have a big time. Like, woohoo! Look at me. I'm, I'm pyromaniac. I'm crazy. Oh, I'm on fire. <laughs> I'm burning. That's not good. Well, let's get out of here. Let's go back up to the surface so I can put myself out. Cause that's just crazy. And you notice it works because that block the entire time was unloaded. But now that it's loaded back in the memory this thing will turn itself off and using my close portal tutorial along with this would mean that you would come out of your other portal this block would turn this off then if you try to come back up here it's a mess it's just a mess so don't use automated portals along with close portals you're, you're only asking for trouble there that's for sure with that that is automated portal tutorial and this is max signing off and i'll see you on the next one